Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, we're gonna to be going through this massive haul of puzzles for the month of April. Uh, there's quite a mix here, including different piece counts, lots of different colorful puzzles and different puzzle designs. There's also uh, brands that are new to me, so that's pretty exciting. I'll be sure to list all of these puzzles in the description box below and they will be listed in the order that they appear in the video. So be sure to check that out if there's any you're after. Um, but apart from that, I think this could take us a while. So maybe grab yourself a drink, get a snack and get comfortable. We've got quite a few piles to get through, but we'll start with this one here. Um, so as per usual, I've just sort of grouped uh, puzzles according to the places that I got them from. So first up, uh, we'll go through the Amazon ones. There's not too many this time because Amazon's just been kind of expensive lately. So I haven't really bought much from there. Um, but this first one was on sale. So I did grab it and I've been eyeing it off for quite a while. So this is from the brand. Okay, I'm probably gonna completely butcher this. Begramians? I have no idea. B-G-R-A-A-M-I-E-N-S. -A -A <laughs> um, anyway, um, I've bought one of their puzzles before they tend to be one of these like more Amazon brands and the puzzles tend to have like the letters or the numbers on the back anyway I've had this one on my wish list for ages and it's called the Zen Tangle Dragonfly and it's this absolutely stunning really beautiful color palette uh round patterned dragonfly puzzle and I just yeah when I saw it like last year I think it was I just thought it was really gorgeous and but yeah, it was always kind of expensive and then recently it dropped right down in price. So I was like, yoink, I'm going to get that. Um, yeah, but just a beautiful color palette, lots of pinks and purples and lovely aquas. And yeah, it just looks really pretty. I'd say it's going to be pretty difficult too. I mean, I could use the, I guess, system on the back of the pieces, like the numbers or letters, if I get stuck, I guess. Um, but I'll try not to, just because, you know, try and get through the challenge. But yeah, there's a lot of this sort of repeating pattern. So that could be quite tricky, I think. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning and glad I picked this one up. And then next we've got a beautiful pomegranate puzzle. This one is called Flowers in the Village and just a 500 piece. And it's been out for quite a while, but yeah, I've just always had my eye on this one. I just think it's just a lovely artwork, just stunning sort of like, I don't know if that's meant to be Mount Fuji. I think it could be maybe, or mountains in Japan because the artist is Japanese and yeah, all these beautiful, presumably like cherry or plum blossoms all in bloom. So yeah, just a really kind of simple but beautiful image. So yeah, very happy to add that. And I absolutely love the pomegranate quality. They always make just really nice puzzles, both in terms of artwork and quality so yeah excited to have this one in the collection finally as well and then here's one from the brand uh, antelope and it's 1000 pieces and it is called cosmic animals um, yeah and i've just had my eye on this one for a while and i just think it's a really cool really kind of different interesting image um, i've actually this is going to be the i think this is the second antelope puzzle i have and I am a terrible person and I still haven't tried any of them. So I really need to like, you know, try them out sometime. Maybe I can make a video sometime as well if anyone's interested. Um, I've heard good things about them, which is sort of why I've picked up a couple of their puzzles and they always just seem to have kind of interesting artwork. But yeah, this one basically features like this, yeah, galaxy or cosmos and has all these sort of interesting animals. Like there's like some owls and, um, this, wait, are you a cheetah, a leopard, a spotty giant cat? <laughs> and, you know, some like other like hummingbirds or tropical birds and flowers and things. Yeah, it's sort of like quite a busy and really interesting image and just really beautiful. And I don't really have anything in my collection quite like it. So yeah, I definitely am um, excited to try this brand out one of these days, hopefully soon. And I guess, yeah, when I do, I'll definitely let you know what I think. So. Yeah, glad to have this one too. And then we've got here a couple from Buffalo Games. So this one's been out for quite a while and this was actually a, a viewer suggestion and I decided to grab it because it's a really cute, lovely image. So this is 
1,000 Pieces, Flights of Fantasy, Autumn Castle Festival. Um, and it's by the artist Rose Kat Khan. And I do actually have a couple other puzzles from her, which are really, they're always just really pretty and fantasy themed. And yeah, basically this has got beautiful pinky, reddy, orange autumn leaves. And I guess sort of like, I think they're just like some princesses and cute dragons and the castle. And there's like little cats and dogs. Like it's very uh, sweet and whimsical and yeah, just a really kind of cute fantasy image I guess like it doesn't take itself too seriously it's just a bit of fun and very cute and yeah really pretty colors so yeah I'm excited to have this one too I've definitely seen it around but for whatever reason I just never got around to getting it so but yeah definitely glad to have this one to add to the others by the same artist and then the last one from Amazon is just this cute one a 750 piece one uh from like the dog days series and this one's called dog garden and unfortunately got a little bit booped in the mail which sucks thanks amazon for packaging things in like satchels with no protection anyway um but it's just the box so i'm sure the pieces are fine but yeah it's just a really cute i've been buying quite a few like cute dog puzzles lately and i'm not even a dog person so i don't know what's going on but this one is really nice it's basically this lovely sort of courtyardy garden with like sort of cactus plants and ferns and all sorts of plants but then of course amongst everything are the, all these cute different dogs like little like pug and a dalmatian and a chihuahua or a sausage dog like they're all sort of hidden around the place and it's just a really cute art style it's again very whimsical and just really sweet and i really like the color palette actually it's got this beautiful like sort of it's kind of pastel-y even though like there's bright greens there's this lovely peach and teal colors so yeah overall it's just a really lovely image so yeah i think it's a really cute addition um so next up we have a bunch of puzzles from an australian uh store i think they're just online and they're called like books are us and more so they have books but and more puzzles so the first one here is another um, New York puzzle company puzzle. This one's only 750 pieces and it's called Lobster Serenade. And when I saw this one, I, I just knew it was like right up my alley. It's completely bizarre and quirky. And I seem to have a thing for lobsters because one of the other puzzles from this brand is also a lobster puzzle. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but basically it's this, you know, lady in her I guess it's sort of a vintage style image, like she's in her vintage style uh, bathing suit, it would seem. So like, what, the, is it Victoriana? Maybe, I'm not sure. And yeah, there's this lobs, giant lobster coming out of the water, serenading her with, I'm not exactly sure, is it like, it might be a lute. It's not a guitar exactly, it's like some other instrument. But yeah, she looks very smitten that this handsome lobster fellow is serenading her on the beach it's just the most bizarre image but i it really appeals to me so yeah and i recently put together one of their puzzles and uh, yeah i enjoyed it um it wasn't like the most exceptional quality ever but it was perfectly fine and uh, still a very nice puzzling experience so yeah looking forward to doing this one sometime and then we've got a couple here from Bluebird. So this one is a thousand pieces called Toy's Tale. And when I first saw it, it had kind of the Amy Stewart shelf series vibes, but it is actually by a different artist. I don't know if it's written on here, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna find out. No, maybe no. Oh, Gabrielle Grassi. So it is a different artist, but basically it's, yeah, all these sort of toy shelves with all these very vintage retro toys. and um yeah it's sort of like you know old tin planes and like kids cash registers and puppets and wind up toys like all sorts of like very vintage retro toys but hiding amongst them which it's hard to notice when you look at this online because there's so much detail but there's like other there's like animals hiding amongst stuff like i can see a couple of dogs and a cat and a bird so yeah it's a bit interesting but yeah just a very um Again, lovely, whimsical puzzle. And I've got quite a few Bluebird puzzles and I've quite enjoyed them. Um, their quality seems to sort of, 
Well, the quality is always quite nice, but from memory, because I haven't done one for a while, but I sometimes like the piece size and the, the way the pieces are made sometimes varies across them. So yeah, there is a bit of uh, inconsistency with the pieces. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what these ones are like. And then it goes for the boxes too, actually, like I'm looking up here because <laughs> I've actually got them up on a shelf here. Like some of the boxes are like, even for 1000 piece are like bigger because this is quite thin. And then there's some that are like really thin like this. So I don't know why they have a lot of inconsistency. Maybe things were made differently when they first started and then have changed. I don't know. But anyway, I'm still glad to have this one because I think overall they're still a really nice brand and have really beautiful images and pretty decent quality. But yeah, I definitely need to remind myself of what the quality is like. So hopefully I'll do one of these soon. Um, so yeah, glad to have this one. And then the other Bluebird one I got, I think is just a really gorgeous image. This one's a thousand pieces called Our Autonomy. And yeah, I think this is also, this image is also available as a Buffalo Games one, but I preferred to get it in Bluebird. Um, yeah, it's just this beautiful Owl illustration and just all these lovely bright colors and the sun. It sort of makes me think of, it's like a very folk arty, like it has a sort of particular style about it. Um, but yeah, it's just full of lots of details, lots of colors, um, there's like some plants and flowers in there. I just think it's really beautiful and yeah, it just really caught my eye when I saw it. So decided to grab that one as well. And then we've got here one from Anatolian, which I've had my eye on for a while, which I think it's just called, oh, called Rainbow Panda, which, and that's pretty much what it is. It's uh, 1000 pieces as well. And it's, yeah, this, well, it's actually two pandas. It's like, I guess, a mum panda with her baby panda. And um, yeah, it's sort of interesting. It's just got all these patterns overlay on top of like the black and white pandas. And then all these like rainbow kind of gradient colors throughout and rainbow in the background, sort of interesting, but I always found it kind of eye catching and just really pretty and can't go past a rainbow. Um, and yeah, I think pandas are cute. So yeah, I think this is just a fun, cute one to have in the collection. Um, and I'm also interested to try, so I do actually have a lot of Anatolian puzzles, again, on this shelf that you can't see. Um, but I haven't done any for quite a while. And I recently did a 500 piece one and I, the quality wasn't what I remembered. Like it was quite, I, it was quite glossy and the pieces didn't hold together. And I felt like the 1000 piece ones that I had done previously were nicer than that. So it's gonna be really interesting to try this one out, I think soon and sort of compare it to that 500 piece one and see if the quality is different or if I'm just like misremembering. I mean, also, I think since doing some puzzles a while ago, my standards have definitely changed as well, become much more of a puzzle snob. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely excited to have this one and just try it out and see, like, I guess, have a bit of a refresh and see what I think of Anatolian again these days. So yeah. And then the last one I got from that, the Books Are Us and More place is a Hay Puzzle 1000 Pieces. And this is part of the Enigma Trees collection. And this one is called the strontium tree. Not exactly sure what strontium means. If you know, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's just, I've got a couple from this series. The other two I have are actually like long, I guess, well, they're not exactly, well, panoramic, but not really, like just really long skinny puzzles. Um, and there's uh, this one, and there's also another one, this sort of size as well, size and shape as well, which I, I'm after, but I haven't got yet. I feel like I'm sort of collecting them all. But yeah, it just features like, you know, at a glance, it just looks like this lovely autumn red leafed tree, you know, in a field somewhere, but up close, it's got all these like little details, like strange little alien type mushrooms and orbs and glowing things. And yeah, like all the sort of roots of the tree look very alien like, so. Yeah, really interesting and very, they're all very detailed and very pretty. So yeah, you know, glad that I spotted this one and was able to add this one to the collection. So now I just have to get the tropical tree. It's got on the back the four in the series, but I haven't really seen that one around. So I don't know if that one's gonna be coming back in stock. Um, so that's it from those two. And then the last one I've got over here is a little 500 piece Ravensburger one. And this is called 
trendy, which is random. But um, yeah, basically I got this one from the um, a recent state puzzle competition that I participated in. Basically we got to take home the puzzle we worked on. So I got this one um, and yeah, it's just a cute, um, yeah, 500 piece sort of stylized arty cat. I guess it's trendy. <laughs> I would have thought it'd be something cat in the name, but no, just trendy. Um, yeah, and it was, um, well, I can't say it was fun to do at the time because it, it was stressful trying to do speed puzzling. I'm not a speed puzzler, so I was a bit flustered at the time, but I did it again recently um, just so I could take a photo of it. And yeah, it was quite fun and enjoyable. And it is definitely um, like the first time I did it in the competition. It's definitely deceiving because it looks very like simple with big, bold shapes, but actually it still took me a while to do. And yeah, it definitely wasn't super easy. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, glad that, you know, we were able to take our puzzles home. I think that's really cool. Um, so we've got a few more piles of puzzles to go through. So yeah, let's, let's get through them. Okay, so we've got another stack of puzzles here. Um, these are from a couple of different places. Um, so this first stack is from uh, another Australian online store called Mind Connect Australia. And I've been getting a lot of puzzles from there recently because they just have a really great range of both Australian brands, but also a lot of like hard to get international brands. So yeah, so uh, first up we've got a couple from a well actually an Australian brand so these are both from the brand Hinkler um, and Hinkler always make really like kind of cool inexpensive puzzles like really affordable like you can get them at Kmart here and like discount bookstores and stuff um, but they recently put out these couple of colorful ones so this first one's called uh, what's well, a 1000 pieces it's part of their elevate mindfulness series and this one's called mandala rocks and yeah it's just this really i think you can probably guess why i picked this one up um it actually reminds me a lot of a, a ravensburger puzzle i have that has like very similar patterns on it but like a different it, the image is different but it's the same sort of like painted rocks so yeah i guess these are all like uh those sort of round flat stones or the, the sort of mandala dots painted on but yeah it looks really cool like really visually stunning and yeah i love how colorful and bright it is and i think it'll be definitely a bit tricky to put together but yeah i really love it i think it's just so fun and colorful and yeah definitely looking forward to doing this one sometime and then the other one from this brand is also 1000 pieces are from the elevate mindfulness series and this one's called seashells and it's basically, it's kind of a simple image. It's just this sort of flat lay of all these different seashells and like, you know, the dried starfish that you, you can collect. Um, and they're all just sort of, there's like a rainbow gradient kind of going through it. So yeah, I have heard from a friend though that it is uh, like, it looks simple, but some of it was quite tricky. I think maybe the orangey yellow parts are a bit tricky to do. So yeah, I, you know, I have been warned. Um, but yeah, this one just looks like a fun puzzle to do as well. Um, this one probably looks a bit easier than the Mandala Rocks. I'm not too sure just because it's a bit more straightforward with the shapes, but we'll have to see. But yeah, it looks fun. And then we've got here, um, this one was actually gifted to me by Mind Connect, So still from the same online store, but they've been gifting me some puzzles for me to try out and kind of review. So they sent me this lovely Magnolia one called Audrey. So as in Audrey Hepburn. And yeah, I recently um, wrote, sort of put this one on my Instagram and like talked about it. So if you're interested, check that out. Um, and yeah, it's just a, it's by this artist Romy Lerda, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they have a lot of puzzles by this particular artist and you can kind of tell her work because she does a lot of these sort of iconic female characters and gives them these really big eyes and small mouth. and but they're just really cool. Like they're just sort of really unique. It's like such a unique style and just really stunning and dramatic. Um, yeah, so this one was fun to do. The background was pretty tough, um, but yeah, I just think it's a really lovely, beautiful, elegant kind of image. So yeah, glad to have this one. And also uh, spoilers, I really love the quality of these Magnolia puzzles and I've been uh, adding a few more to my collection recently as well. So I definitely recommend this brand if you haven't tried it. 
And then I picked up uh, three beautiful art and fable puzzles because I, uh, you might have seen my video recently on the Mantis Mundi art and fable puzzle, which I, uh, spoilers again, I really love the quality and the artwork and the overall experience. So I went out and grabbed three more from Mind Connect. Um, so these are all 1000 pieces and this one is the Keepsake and they're all just sort of um, like beautiful sort of classic style art. Um, I think this one is actually quite an old image. Uh, I don't know if it says, but when it was painted, but the artist was born in 1856. So that probably gives you a bit of an idea. But yeah, it's just this really beautiful, richly colored and just de really detailed, lovely image. Um, love the sort of, sort of, I guess, Renaissance style clothing and yeah, it's just really beautiful. There's so much details and vibrancy going on and textures. So yeah, definitely looking forward to doing this one, um, especially because all the Art and Fable puzzles have this beautiful, they call it like velvet touch surface. Um, it's sort of like a really soft silicon style uh, feel on the piece, the top of the pieces, which I really like. Um, and the piece fits great. So yeah, I really think this is gonna be a really lovely experience just with the beautiful image and then combined with like the awesome quality. So yeah. And then one of the others I got from Art and Fable is called Daphnis. And yeah, it's just very, is it ethereal? I think might be a nice word to sort of describe this. Like, you know, I don't know if she's quite human or is she like a fairy or some sort of like forest creature. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful sort of female character in amongst all these like leaves and plants and maybe in a forest or something. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. Just such a lovely image. So yeah, glad to have this one in the collection. I think this one and the previous one uh, have been out for a while, but you know, I only recently got into Art and Fable, so I've got some catching up to do. And then this design's fairly recent, I believe. Um, it's the La Nouvelle Femme. Um, and yeah, it's just gorgeous um, sort of imagery from the, like the arts and crafts movement um, or Art Nouveau kind of movement. But yeah, just love it, love the colors. I really love the sort of old posters that you get with this sort of style on it. Yeah, I really love it. So um, I guess I got all sort of very female based artworks. So, but yeah, this one looks gorgeous and beautiful and uh, glad to have it in my collection as well. And then we've got a few more here also from Mind Connect. So this is one I did recently, which you can find on my Instagram. This is from the New York Puzzle Company. It's called Catachino. Again, I picked this up because, well, it's a cat puzzle, but it's also just so weird and quirky. Like they seem to have a lot of very fun, quirky covers, um, like puzzle designs. Um, and yeah, I just, it's very sort of simple, this sort of very Italian looking kind of cafe with the red and white checkered tablecloth and a catachino. I don't think I need to say much more about it really. Um, but yeah, enjoyed this one. So. Uh, it's not like my most favorite quality ever, but I think like the quality overall is reasonable and it's still a very, yeah, fun experience and enjoyable puzzling experience. So yeah. And then the last couple I got from this place, uh, this one, they're from Cloudberry. So this one is the 500 piece called Whale. I think it's been out for a while, but I just always really liked it and never got around to picking it up, but they had it, so I grabbed it. Yeah, it's just this lovely whale and then sort of little, it's sort of like it's got jellyfish and other sea, colorful sea creatures sort of swimming along with it. And it's sort of, I realize now it's like in a night sky or a dusk sky, cause you've got the sort of impression of the moon here and some clouds. So it's not underwater like I thought, I don't think it's sort of, yeah, kind of very dreamy and uh, a bit surreal actually, but yeah, really beautiful. I just sort of love the colors and yeah, it's just a really kind of tranquil image actually. So yeah, glad to have this one. And then yeah, the last one from Mind Connect is another cloud rose called Hideaway. And uh, yeah, at first glance, it's just this cute little kind of courtyard with colorful plant, like pot plants, but there is like a cute little sneaky black kitty hiding amongst them. So I do like that addition. Um, yeah, but it's just a very pretty one and I really like the art style. Um, yeah, it's nice. So 
yeah, excited to have this one too. So the we've got three more puzzles in this stack to go through and they are from another Australian like online sort of bookstore slash puzzles and all sorts of things called denial.com.au. Um, but yeah, they had these. So the first one I picked up um, is this silly cute one, 500 piece one called Sushi Cats. And I recently did this one actually. Um, and yeah, it just features sort of like this outdoor scene and these sushi cats floating on their sushi plates through the air. Uh, I have like, I've actually uh, got some of these figurines that I've picked up when I was in Japan. And um, I think I actually even have this exact one here. Like uh, you could get them from capsule machines in Japan and they had this whole range of like little key rings of these strange cats that are made into sushi. It's quite weird and quirky and unusual and of course appeals to me because because it's weird and cats and sushi and but yeah when I saw this one actually someone um, uh, gave me a hot tip about it on Instagram and told me I need to go get this one so I did. <laughs> um, but yeah it's not the most fabulous quality ever. The pieces are like pretty thin and glossy um, but it's a cute puzzle. It's just a fun novelty and it actually comes with like a little like info booklet, like the history of the sushi cat. So yeah, just a silly, weird, fun little puzzle. So still, still happy to have it in my collection. And then this one just caught my eye just cause it's really just beautiful. It's called Around the World in 50 Trees, 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. And I think from what I gathered, there's like a series of books um, like there's a book about the 50 trees and then they made a puzzle and I think there's some other books in the series as well. But yeah, it's always very like, um, I guess, very finely illustrated pictures of trees and plants and animals. And um, so this is not the actual puzzle image, the whole image is here on the back. Um, but yeah, it's such a really detailed, beautifully illustrated image. and. Um, yeah, I didn't actually know what the whole image was like when I bought it because I think it only just recently came out. So all they had on the website was this, but I, you know, went on a hunch and grabbed it and I'm glad I did because it, yeah, it looks really interesting and uh, a bit different to some of the puzzles I have, but still really beautiful, even though it's not like super in your face colorful. So yeah, glad to have this one. Interested to try it out. Um, it's by Lawrence King Publishing and I think they're the ones that do those square puzzles like the Dracula and like uh, the pop pop art one, like there, there's a whole range. So I think they're the ones that are behind that. So um, from memory, the quality of those is reasonable. So hopefully this one is too. Um, yeah, so an interesting puzzle to add to the collection. And then this one just caught my eye because it's just really beautiful and colorful. It's called Petal and it's 1000 pieces and it's just this floral puzzle and the flowers just look really stunning and gorgeous and they're all just illustrated. Um, but they're really detailed and the colors are just beautiful. So yeah, kind of nothing too crazy, but yeah, just thought it was beautiful. And so why not? Um, so that's it from that stack. Of course, we have more to go through. Um, so I guess let's get on with it and go through those. This next pile is quite a mix. So there's like quite a few places that I got these puzzles from. So the first one, I believe it's from a place called Arb Games which is an Australian company. They're both online and have a physical store. And my friend was kind enough when she was on holidays in Queensland where the store is based to actually ask if I wanted anything. So I put in a request for this lovely Gibson's jellyfish puzzle that's been on my wish list for quite some time. Um, I think you could probably see why I like it. It's just really pretty and colorful. The whole image is, I guess, on the back. Um, but yeah, it's just, the colors are so nice and it's just a really beautiful image. So. Yeah, and I quite like the Gibson's quality. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. And then the same friend actually gifted me this puzzle. Um, I think she hates me, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but it is a really tricky, interesting looking puzzle. So it's actually a round puzzle. This is just like, I guess, part of the image. Um, but essentially this crazy stripey kind of weird optical illusion-y puzzle is, uh, like design is inside the round circle. And I believe it's, yeah, it's 1000 pieces. Um, and from what I can tell, it's sort of like 
I think designed by like some interior designers or was made for like an interior design firm. Um, I think my friend might work in that sort of architectural interior design industry. Um, but yeah, so uh, I guess she knows me well and I'm always up for like some crazy challenge. So here's another one to add to my crazy challenge puzzle pile. Um, yeah, it's not quite that colorful, but definitely looks in interesting. So um, I'm not sure how keen I am on it, but I'm definitely intrigued by it. So well, yes, we'll have to see if this one gets done soon or not, or if it's going to be put off for a while. <laughs> and then I did a bit of a splurge recently and ordered myself this gorgeous uh, gradient puzzle from Mr. Bob Puzzles, which is an Australian uh, wooden puzzle company over in uh, Perth in Western Australia. And this is a 500 piece one. And they actually had this one on special, like they were sort of promoting it. And it's called Clem's Challenge. Um, I think Clem is like their sort of graphic designer, one of their puzzle designers. And yeah, it's this beautiful, uh, like pinky, purpley, bluey, teal, gradient and of course like a lot of wooden puzzles it also has lots of whimsy pieces and it's quite heavy uh, so I think you know it's going to be quite chunky and you know yeah like interesting um, and the other thing that's quite interesting about their puzzles is they infuse the wood with like essential like sort of uh, like essential kind of Australiana type fragrances so like this one I can sort of smell like eucalyptus and things like that. So yeah, really interesting. It makes uh, their puzzles a bit more different and stand out. Like instead of just that wood fire smoky smell, you tend to get these other interesting fragrances. So yeah, but I'm excited to do this one. I might do a video on it because I think it could be quite interesting. Don't know how easy it's going to be. Like obviously if it was just a sort of regular puzzle gradient, it might be fairly straightforward, but with all the sort of like irregular piece shapes and whimsies it could be a bit tricky plus we've got a couple of like big purple patches so that could be hard to tell which side of the puzzle the pieces go in so yeah definitely glad to grab this one I have actually done one of their puzzles once before that I borrowed off a friend but this is my first one that belongs to me so yeah nice to be able to finally add one to my collection and um they were really generous and sent me two other cute little puzzles to try out. So they're these little mini puzzles. Um, they're both 40 pieces. So one is this uh, lovely indig indigenous artwork called Noongar Six Seasons Collage. So I think you can get this one like in a large size as well. And also um, sort of like individual puzzles representing like the different parts of this collage. But yeah, it's really cute, very colorful. So yeah, like, that's really nice of them to include that in there. Um, so I think that's going to be a fun little one to do. And yeah, this other one also 40 pieces, it says a hundred Aussie icons and it just looks very cartoony and has like lots of Australiana, like Australian icons in there. Like I can see the opera house and Harbour bridge and, uh, Uluru and different animals and actors and things. So it, yeah, it looks pretty fun. And I don't know how big these are when they're like, put together, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. So let's pop these ones back here. And then, so the next few, I think, uh, all from the same place. So another Australian website. Um, these are actually from a website called The Iconic. And I find that completely weird because to me, when I think of The Iconic, they're like quite well known for like selling clothes and shoes. And I never realized they sold puzzles. I think I just happened to be searching for a particular puzzle and then it came up and I was like they have puzzles too <laughs> and they were having a big sale but I have to say I'm not too pleased with their service because all the puzzles just arrived like th thrown into a plastic satchel like no protection at all and some of the puzzles have turned out a bit damaged and some of them they've like stuck their sort of like warehouse stickers onto the actual box and not the like especially if the puzzle didn't have plastic so I'm a bit disappointed and I don't know if I'll be ordering puzzles from them again. So if you're in Australia, just a word of warning. Um, but anyway, so one of the puzzles I got is this lovely one from Printworks, which I've seen around and it's called Dawn and it's a 500 piece puzzle. And it's essentially this lovely, 
I guess kind of yeah dawn sky gradient but instead of just being a just a gradient it's got lovely clouds in the sky so yeah I thought this was quite interesting I've seen them around for a while but I've never tried this brand um, but yeah annoyingly like the plastic and even the box has got a bit of a slight like cut through it so I think maybe it was in the top of a box and they've like cut the box open with a packing knife so yeah a bit disappointed with how the puzzles have been treated by this company but um, I guess the only sort of saving grace is that they're all on sale and quite discounted but anyway just glad to have this one and be able to try out this brand and then this next one I actually did recently it's by the brand Talking Tables which was also a new to me brand and it's called the Cat Puzzle and it's just a little 500 piece one um, and yeah it's a really cute uh, just a really relaxing chill bunch of cats hanging out in a nice house somewhere so yeah look very relaxing very cute uh, I've seen this one around and I was interested to try this brand and I, one thing I found out with this brand is it seems like they might be made by the same manufacturer who does cloud berries because the pieces seem almost identical they have that waxy top um, same fit same like piece shapes and all that the only difference is like the cloud berries uh, the surface even though it's waxy it has like a bit of a like cross hatch kind of texture whereas these are smooth and waxy but everything else is like even the backing the cardboard backing is like identical so yeah kind of interesting um but yeah i definitely pick up more from this brand if i see other designs that i like so yeah really happy i could try this one out and then i picked up a couple of genuine fred ones so i think this one's quite an old design but um, I just grabbed it it was 500 pieces and I think it's just called ice pops and yeah just kind of colorful pretty simple I guess yeah kind of a photo of all these melting icy poles although when I look at it I kind of get the shivers <laughs> so you know how some people don't like fingers on a chalkboard I don't like when your teeth touch the like paddle pop the wooden paddle pop stick <laughs> so actually when I look at this it kind of I don't know why I got it then going to just give me shivers doing this puzzle the whole time so but yeah so um it does kind of make me think of that if I think about it too much but apart from that it's just a fun colorful pretty simple kind of puzzle so yeah should be good fun and another design from genuine Fred which I guess has been out for a while as well this one's 1000 pieces and it's called listen to me and I'll tell you a story and it's sort of this kind of kind of interesting tranquil like underwater looks like it's some giant tentacles and this strange little sea creature lady who's just chilling sitting on one of the tentacles and I guess telling all these school of fish her story so I kind of like the sort of moody grungy greeny colors like it's kind of cool um, and it's just a kind of unusual image but I think it's just a really pretty image as well so yeah I'm glad to finally add this one to my collection I've got quite a few genuine Fred but I, I really enjoy them they just have a really great range of puzzle images and I don't mind the quality as well I think it's reasonable um, and then what else have we got here okay this one is bonkers um, why why is it like this it's only 500 pieces why is it like this um, but it was like super discounted and I've never like seen or heard this brand before it's like called uh, when I find it I think it's called Rex maybe I think the brand is Rex and I think it's a UK brand and it says long coral reef puzzle 500 pieces um, yeah and it's like it's a it's a really nice image it's just this beautiful like underwater sort of tropical fish and coral scene and it's got like sharks and I guess stingrays or manta rays and beautiful colorful fish and crabs and yeah it's just really pretty again the iconic did a terrible job and it got a bit damaged so that's a bit disappointing um, and then the other interesting thing is like doesn't even come sealed but yeah it comes with like a little information booklet I think and the pieces look interesting kind of big and chunky but I think it's sort of aimed at kids why like the pieces are a bit bigger but I just thought it was a a really lovely image and I was like why not try out a, another new brand but I just I'm not a fan of this big box I mean it stands out but it's just annoying to store like 
I've had it out here ready to talk about it in this video and it's just been in the way the whole time. So I don't know, don't know how long it's gonna stay in my collection for. Uh, we'll have to see, but I'm still glad to be trying it, so. Ugh. It's ridiculous. Um, and then the last puzzle I got from this company is one of these Ridley's uh, jigsaw puzzles. This is the Donut Lovers puzzles. And yeah, I've just seen this one around. I thought it was really fun. Yeah, just basically this, one of their kind of classic kind of posters with all like donuts on it. And it tells you what they all are and what the filling is. And it's just cute and colorful and a bit of a fun novelty puzzle. Um, I don't think their quality is like great or anything like that. I, I don't think it's terrible, but it's, you know, these are usually designed to be like gifts and that sort of thing. So I don't think they're designed to be for the, you know, puzzle snob out there necessarily. Um, but you know, I think it's just a fun one and um, yeah, should be, should be fun to put together. All right, so we are nearly done. We have one, uh, tiny stack of puzzles to get through and then we will be finished. This is the last stack of puzzles for this haul, I promise. And this one's gonna be really quick because I've actually already done a video on these, which I'll link up the top. So we'll just go through these really quick. So these are all from the company Pezzle and these are really kindly gifted to me by the owner, Taylor. Um, she actually sent me the whole uh, like launch collection to try out, which is very generous. Um, so there's like four 1000 piece ones. So this one I'm currently doing over on Instagram. Um, this one's called Sugar Daddy and yes, they're all very, uh, so I should mention they've got quite cheeky and quirky names and the images are all very like quite weird and like whimsical and quirky and a bit fun and cheeky, some of them. So yeah, this one's basically uh, Sugar Daddy in the sense that there's this, I guess, handsome person uh, making all these baked goods and delicious cakes and things. So yeah, it uh, doesn't sound too bad, I guess. But anyway, um, so yeah, I really like this series. Um, they're really fun puzzles. I love the bright colors of the packaging and the packaging and the pieces all have, again, a bit like Art and Fable. They have this very soft touch, like a sort of soft silicon. Um, so yeah, quite fun. Um, yeah, just really, it's a really fun experience having this sort of like feel because you just want to touch the pieces all the time. Um, there were a few little sort of issues with some of the pieces, um, but thankfully the uh, owner is like working with her manufacturer and taking feedback from myself and other puzzlers who are, you know have been working with this collection to sort of like, yeah, pass on feedback and improve uh, the puzzles for the next time around. So that's really good news. Um, anyway, so yeah, this one's Sugar Daddy and <laughs> has been quite fun to do. And then this next one, I haven't yet done it, but I'm hopefully gonna do it soon over on Instagram. It's called Nectar of the Gods. Um, yeah, 1000 pieces and yeah, it just has this sort of very, like all these Grecian style, um, like busts and columns and things, colorful flowers. And then yeah, these coffee cups full of coffee beans. So very heavenly, I guess. So yeah, really cool. And then this is one that I did in the recent video. This one's called Ballers New York Court, 1000 pieces. And I really love the colors, color scheme in this, like the sort of teals and purples and pinks. And essentially it's like the aftermath of like a school dance or a prom night or something like that. It's got all the cups on the floor and like streamers and confetti and like Polaroid pictures and things. So yeah, quite fun. Um, so far, like with the puzzles I have done from this collection, I haven't found any of them to be super difficult. They've all been very doable and like very fun. Some are easier than others, but yeah, all yeah, all really enjoyable. And then this last one I haven't yet done is called Roll the Dice. And it's basically a sort of sushi, sushi restaurant scene, but oddly, um, instead of like some of the sushi has been replaced, like the rice has been replaced by black and white dice and it's all a bit kind of quirky and odd. Um, not sure what it all means. I don't know what it's alluding to. If, if you know, <laughs> let me know in the comments, but um, either way, it's a, just a fun and quirky scene. So I'm looking forward to doing this one sometime. And then this next one is a 500 piece one. And this is one I did in the video as well. And it's called Cool as a Cucumber. And I think this is like probably 
my favorite in the series. I just love the color palette so much. So lovely pastel pinky teals. And I just love the like crazy cucumbers chilling in their margarita swimming pool with like headphones on and their little like floaties. Like one's got a donut floaty, one's got a unicorn floaty and this one's got sunglasses on. It's just bizarre and, I, and I'm here for it. So yeah, I really love their colors on this one. And then this other one is a 500 piece one as well. It's called Pie in the Sky. Um, and I haven't done this one yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. It just basically features slices of pizza in these sort of gilded frames. Uh, looks like in someone's like, you know, some rich mansion that's like got all this ornate wallpaper and frames everywhere. But I guess they're really into pizza. I mean, I can relate. I think like if I was rich and had a mansion, I'd probably have something similar on my wall. Um, I think though, if you're hungry, you probably shouldn't do this puzzle because you're going to be craving pizza. Um, but yeah, this one looks really fun. So yeah, definitely really love this collection. Definitely a fan. Um, and I'm really like keen to see what they do in the future as well. So that is everything for the April haul. Um, I guess in the comments below, let me know what you thought of all these puzzles. Um, are there some that you've tried? Are there some that are on your wish list? Yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you show that like button some love. And if you want to see more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. You can also check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.